It's YouTube Wednesday! Tentacle time! I have uh, some very simple party cups here. Uh, these are the plastic cups. Um, I happen to get mine at Dollar General. And, you know, I have got a big pack of them. It was four bucks. I also have from Dollar General, now is the time to get these. Ornaments, these plastic ornaments are so useful for haunt stuff. There is a nub on these Christmas balls. You can see that right up top there. You have to cut that nub off. Easiest way to do that is to just score around it by squeezing the scissors and twisting. And if you do this enough, it'll just come off. But now that I've scored it, I can cut it and come off pretty clean. To prep, I'm going to go ahead and get everything I need ready before I start assembling. And that means I take these and a soldering iron, nice and hot, it's going to melt right through the top. I'm going to put a hole right in the top. Where I cut that nub off, there is already a hole. Now I have one on both sides. I've made a big bead. I'm going to knock out a bunch of those and I'll get right back. Most cups have a recycling thing on the bottom, and that's great because it tells you where the dead center is. So I'm going to go right into that recycling thing, and that's all that I need to get this cup prepped. I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of them. Because I want tension on the tentacle, I'm using elastic to hold them all together. And I'm going to string this up just like, you know, a necklace of beads. In order to thread this through, I'm going to use a piece of floral wire, just like a needle. Here's just a regular piece of floral wire. I'm going to bend it in half. Bend it in half, and it's kind of needle-shaped now. But I will be able to tie a good knot in this end here in a second. Alright. That goes on. Now it's threaded just like a needle. Put it right through my Christmas decoration. I'm going to pull them so I know that they're even. I'm going to wrap it around the ball and tie it off really good. A couple knots in there. Make sure that's good and tight. Now on this side, as long as I pull this, I should have the exact middle. I'm going to go through a cup, through a ball. Takes a little bit to line this up. See, I've got them strung together, and with tension, it's going to hold itself exactly where I want it to go. I'm going to go ahead and thread all that I can, um, and I'll show you on the flip side. I'm adding these cups to the bottom just to reinforce it.
So now I'll tie this back onto my ornament. Okay, I'm going to go ahead with those cups fall and pull my, pull my elastic rather tight. I go through a ball one more time. And I'm tying this off around this ball. Now I have a tentacle that is free and can move. I'm going to make it move. Uh, the way I do that is I'm going to run string through it so I can pull, so I can pull on the string and make it move in different directions. Or to run a string through it, I'm going to need a hole everywhere I want the string. So I'm taking my soldering iron, which is hot, and I am on one side all the way down in as straight a line as I can. I'm poking a hole so I can run that string. And there's a lot of stress on the bottom piece. That's why I did three cups there. Now this whole side is ready to go. I have my nylon string, not elastic, because I want it to pull. And if you pull, try and pull elastic, it just stretches. Checking my length, and I want to give myself extra because I need room to work on the other side. And this one's pretty easy. I'm going to start here. I'm going to thread it through the entire set of cups. through I'm tying it off on the end pull through I don't want to tie it off to every individual cup because I want it to be able to slide freely through there. And I have about a foot extra here on the end. Now I carefully flip it and I want to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay. Okay, I have this side threaded. Flip it again. And I'm going to run right in between the two. And now I can see them, so it'll be easier for me to go in between each of those. One more time with feeling. Next side.
in order for this to move it has to be mounted to a base otherwise if you pull on it it's just gonna drag towards you so you're gonna have it mounted somewhere for this size tentacle I'm gonna mount it on this five gallon five gallon bucket lid because I can I might build the bucket up to look like a plant and have this be like a plant type tentacle moving around um, or this is a solid base to screw it to the ceiling and have a motor move your cords and such or you could put this in the back of a 55 gallon drum or in the middle of it and have the tentacle just be sticking out of it so I need a mounting plate and that gives me a few more options as far as where I can put it and set it up what I want to do is take a cup I'm going to mount it right about the center. If I wanted to do several tentacles, then I might not put it in the center. I might offset it and do three that all kind of move independently. But I'm just doing one for the demo. So I can, I'm just putting it down and I'm poking some holes to where I'm going to hold this sucker down with zip ties. Now that, that is, I just have them marked. I'm gonna run it through. And that's the outside of the cup. I'm putting a second hole that's gonna be inside of the cup. And I'm running holes where my strings will go through. If you just take the plastic off of the tip of the soldering iron by scraping it on a table or a Brillo pad or something, uh, it makes a lot less smoke than if you left it on there. And I have my strings all marked out, but now I want to put four holes in where the zip ties go. and that's what your lid looks like. I always put it on the side of the lid so I can put this side down on the bucket, okay? Um, if you mount it upside down, then your bucket would have to go around your tentacle, which also works, but then it's just, you know, part of your tentacle is hidden inside of the bucket. And the sets of two are for zip ties. I'm keeping these in order so I don't confuse myself. Kind of north, south, east, and west. As I go around the cup, I'm pulling them through. And I want it to go on even, you know, right on right, left on left, all that. And I'm just going to tie these together back here so I don't lose my tentacle. Fun 
one part, I have some small zip ties. I'm going to use them to secure the tentacle down to the bucket lid. That's why I did a hole inside of the cup. I'm going to come out a hole for in the cup. This is kind of hard to get on film, so just uh, understand my mechanicals. All right, that's the gist of the assembly. Let me show it to you moving. I have mounted my lid here uh, to the end of a table. Um, I just put a couple of screws on it because this is just kind of a demo. And I'm gonna move the tentacle around by pulling on these cords back here. Now I've got them all tied together up here. If I pull this one, whole tentacle moves that way. Pull this one, tentacle goes the other way. And I can pull on it and get all kinds of cool effects. It'll rise up. I mean, it's not mounted as securely as it would be in a permanent install, and I am not, uh, my cup is catching on my end here, so careful of going over a table edge or something. And it's also not skin. But I can just grab this and go in all these just different directions and move it and get really cool you know, different results as far as how this guy moves. And you can get some, you know, real dramatic movement. If this was just one surface where I could just sweep back and forth, that would be really easy with this tentacle design. You know, I can get a lot of just back and forth. If all I wanted is thrashing up and down, you know, like one of these, then I would only really use that top string to get it just to go up in the air. You know, just up. And I can just, you know, get a really up in the air and then whip around from there. And I'm holding these. So what you can do, and once again, my, my cup is caught on the edge of the table, so a flatter surface would be better and more ideal. But what you can do is really just, you know, have cool tentacle motions and movement. As soon as I let it go, wham, right back down. Back up in the air, switch over, switch over. You know, my whole tentacle's moving. I'll show you the back side of this. You can see that this is the back of the lid, and here's my four strings coming out. I actually did a really poor job of getting these balanced. Um, I have almost three strings within an inch of each other, right here on this side. And this one here is really the only one on this right hand side. So if, if this were more balanced when I put the strings through, uh, I would get better movement. So, but here, each one of these could be put to a piston or to a motor just to move random. Or another thing that you can do that's worked for me in the past is just hook this up to a motor here, this piece here to a nice strong arm motor. As it goes around, you know, your tentacle gets this good thrashing and movement, you know, back and forth. Fast as this motor goes, you know, moving this arm around, you know, that's what your tentacle does. And I'm just winding in a circle. You know, the tentacle just keeps moving. But if you could also do each one of these onto a piston, where you, this piston pulls and it moves that way. This piston pulls, it moves that way. This piston, and then, you know, do two at a time and it comes up. You see how it comes up off the table there. So, there's just so much that this tentacle design can do, and it doesn't have to be mounted sideways like an octopus tentacle. It can be mounted upside down. Another good thing, let me pull back a little bit here. 
Another good thing about this design is it can be scaled up. These are stronger. These are bigger. Okay, this is bigger still. Same design, a little bit bigger plastic ball in here to give you that motion, and you have a sturdier, larger tentacle. Also, it can be scaled down. And you can do all of these in a series where, you know, this is the end of the tentacle, then these are the middle, then these little ones are on the very end. But they all move the exact same way. Okay, you can get a lot of movement out of these tentacles. So, I'll talk about skinning them later. Easiest solution, pantyhose. Foam pipe insulation, cut it up into rings, glue that on, um, and then paint it, and that is a pretty good looking octopus type tentacle. Thanks for watching.